Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to every one of you. For today's lesson, we are going to continue with our Pulse 2 textbook and please turn to page 13. Vocabulary and listening, skills and abilities. Okay, you can see in your textbook, you have a disc uh, icon, so meaning that this is a listening activity. So, I will play an audio clip and you listen and repeat after each of the word you heard. Okay, you read at the instruction, listen and repeat the words in the box. So, I will play the audio now. You listen and you repeat on your own. Okay, I'll start now. Unit 1. Vocabulary and Listening Skills and Abilities Exercise 1 Act Sing Dance Paint Draw Cook Bake a cake. Play a musical instrument. Write songs. Tell jokes. Ride a motorbike. Do tricks. Drive a car. Speak a language. Done? Alright, you may repeat again by rewinding the video if you want to do the activity again. Now we are at exercise 2. Another this icon meaning another listening activity. Read and listen to the text. Copy and complete the introductions with words from exercise 1. Then listen and check your answers. Okay, first I would like you to copy the sentences from the picture number 1 until number 6 like I've done here in front of you. You can see on your screen. And then uh, before you listen to the audio, I would like you to first Go through the first one, the first activity, this one, the box here. You can choose your answer from the words from activity 1 and fill in into the sentences. Then you listen to the audio and you check your answers. Okay, I will play the audio now. Unit 1. Vocabulary and Listening Skills and Abilities Exercise 2 They've got talent. Meet the contestants of tonight's show. Read their introductions. We're Kelly and Jamie and we dance together. I'm Ben and this is my dog Shelley. She can do tricks. We're the Glamorgan Boys Choir and we sing in Welsh and English. I'm Lara. I learned to play a musical instrument when I was five years old. I play the drums. I'm Zach. I'm a singer and I also write songs. My name's Emma and I tell jokes. I hope I can make you laugh. Okay, you can rewind the video if you want to listen again to the audio clip. Okay, we'll discuss the answer at the end of our lesson today. Now we are at activity 3, part 3. Express yourself. Work in pairs. What skills and abilities have you got? Compare your skills and abilities. 
Okay, before that, look. I can can't dance. I'm good, not very good at dancing. Okay, the meaning of I can and or can't dance. I can dance means saya boleh menari. I can't dance means saya tidak boleh menari. I'm good at dancing. Maksudnya saya boleh menari dengan baik. I'm not very good at dancing. Bermaksud saya menari tapi tidak begitu bagus dalam membuat tarian. Okay, bukan bermaksud tidak boleh menari tapi kita tidak begitu pandai menari. Okay, now what you have to do is pick uh, pick skills one or two skills and then you follow the example in your textbook. I'm good at drawing but I can't write poetry. Given here, I'm good at drawing but I can't write poetry. How about you? Okay, it should be your your friends answering the question but as now you are in at your house, so you may do this with your siblings. I'm good at drawing. Okay, this is the first skill you choose on your own and write poetry is the second skill. So you base on the example in your textbook and try to write on your own and express yourself. Part 4 and part 5 actually are based on the same audio clip. So first let's read the instruction in part 4. Listen to part of a TV talent show which contestants from exercise 1 are the judges talking to. And then in part 5, exercise 5, listen again. Are the sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. So for activity 4, you just need to identify which contestant are the judges talking to. And in exercise 5, you need to have a look on the sentences from number 1 until number 6. Identify the sentences whether it is true or false and make correction for the false sentences. So now, I will play the audio clip and you have a listen. Please pay attention. Okay, we'll start now. Unit 1. Vocabulary and listening. A TV talent show. Exercise 4. Hi, Zach. Hi. Well, you've certainly got your own style of singing, which I like. But I think you need to work on your voice. It's not strong enough at the moment. Yes, I agree with Donna. That's a beautiful song. But at the moment, you aren't really expressing the feelings in it. Do you have singing lessons, Zach? Uh, no. Well, you should have some. We're not saying you haven't got talent. You have. But that's not enough on its own. So, this time, you aren't successful. But maybe in a few months' time, You'll be one of the winners. Don't give up and good luck. Uh, thanks. Well, Kelly and Jamie, that was a great performance. You move well and you look good together. Well done. Donna? Hmm, I agree. How many hours a week do you train, guys? Two hours a day, from Monday to Friday. And more on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, it shows. Just one thing, though. Try to relax more when you're dancing. You looked very serious, as if you weren't enjoying yourselves. That's because we were nervous. OK. Fair enough. Anyway, congratulations. 
you go through to the next stage of the show. All right, done listening. Now you can pause the video or you want to rewind, you can do so. Rewind the video to listen again. Okay, try to answer part four and part five. We will discuss the answers at the end of the lesson. Now let's discuss the answers from exercise two. They've got talent. Okay, I will play the audio clip again, sentence by sentence, and you check your answers. Unit one, 
Vocabulary and listening. Skills and abilities. Exercise two. They've got talent. Meet the contestants of tonight's show. Read their introductions. We're Kelly and Jamie, and we dance together. So for number one, the answer is dance. I'm Ben, and this is my dog Shelley. She can do tricks. For number two, the answer is do tricks. Okay, let's continue. We're the Glamorgan Boys Choir, and we sing in Welsh and English. Okay, for number three, the answer is sing. Okay, number four. I'm Lara. I learned to play a musical instrument when I was five years old. I play the drums. Okay, number four. The answer is play a musical instrument. Okay, next, number five. I'm Zach. I'm a singer, and I also write songs. Okay, number five. The answer is write songs. Okay, number six. My name's Emma, and I tell jokes. I hope I can make you laugh. Okay, number six. The answer is tell jokes. Okay, check your answers. Now, answer for part four and part five. I will play the audio clip again, and at the same time on your screen, you can see the audio script. So you can listen and read at the same time. Okay, please have a listen. Unit one, vocabulary and listening, a TV talent show, exercise four. Hi, Zach. Hi. Well, you've certainly got your own style of singing, which I like. But I think you need to work on your voice. It's not strong enough at the moment. Yes, I agree with Donna. That's a beautiful song, but at the moment you aren't really expressing the feelings in it. Do you have singing lessons, Zach? Uh, no. Well, you should have some. We're not saying you haven't got talent. You have. But that's not enough on its own. So this time, you aren't successful. But maybe in a few months' time, you'll be one of the winners. Don't give up, and good luck. Uh, thanks. Well, Kelly and Jamie, that was a great performance. You move well and you look good together. Well done, Donna. Hmm, I agree. How many hours a week do you train, guys? Two hours a day from Monday to Friday, and more on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, it shows. Just one thing, though. Try to relax more when you're dancing. You looked very serious, as if you weren't enjoying yourselves. That's because we were nervous. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, congratulations. You go through to the next stage of the show.
Okay, so exercise four. Which contestants from exercise one are the judges talking to? If you can read from the audio script, the first is Zach, and then Kelly and Jamie. So the answer for exercise four: Zach, and then Kelly and Jamie. Okay, part five, exercise five. Are the sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. Okay, for number one, the sentence is the first contestant has got a strong voice. Okay, if you read at the audio script, this part, the judge, judge number one said. But I think you need to work on your voice. It's not strong enough at the moment. So for number one, the sentence is false. So you need to make correction. So what is the correction? The sentence is in affirmative form. The first contestant has got a strong voice. But from the script, you know that he hasn't got a strong voice. So the word has, you must change into negative form. So the correction is the first contestant has changed into hasn't. The first contestant hasn't got a strong voice. Alright, next one, number two. Zach doesn't have singing lesson. Okay, let's go through the audio script again. Judge number two, ask. Do you have singing lesson, Zach? Zach answered, er, no. So the second sentence is true. Zach doesn't have singing lesson. Okay, number three. He wins this part of the competition. Zach menang bahagian pertandingan kali ini. Okay, from the audio script, Judge Wan said, So, this time, you aren't successful. So, question, uh, sentence number three, is it true or false? Yes, correct. It is false. So, you need to do the correction. So, that's the sentence, he wins this part of the competition. So, you need to add negative word. In the sentence. So the correction, he, so you need to add between he and wins. He doesn't. He doesn't win. In negative form, the, the verb win without the S. Okay. He doesn't win this part of the competition okay that is number three okay now number four the judges like kelly and jamie okay let's go through the audio script okay judge to say well kelly and jamie that was a great performance so number four is it true or false sentence number four the judges like Kelly and Jamie. So, number four is true. Next one, number five. The sentence is, they don't practice every day. Okay, let's go through the audio script. Judge one asks, how many hours a week do you train, guys? Two hours a day. 
from Monday to Friday. Kelly answered, two hours a day from Monday to Friday and more on Saturdays and Sunday. So, sentence number five, is it true or false? The sentence says that they don't practice every day, but from the audio clip, it shows otherwise. So, number five, the statement is false. So, you need to do correction. The sentence is in negative form, so you just remove the word don't. So, the correction, they practice every day. Okay, number six, last but not least. They look unhappy when they were performing. Okay, let's go through the audio script once again. Okay, judge number one. Well, it shows. Just one thing though. Try to relax more when you are dancing. You look very serious. Look very serious. As you weren't enjoying yourselves. So the statement, the last statement, they look unhappy when they were performing. So is it true or false? The last one. Yes, very good. Sentence number six is true. Okay, check your own answers and that's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.